So you'll notice the glove box is off. You do not have to take the glove box off. This is just for video purposes so that you can see through here as I'm working from underneath, but you do not have to remove the glove box. What you do have to do though is take this carpet off with a trim tool, pop off the push clips. Okay, that's off. Pull that aside or down or out of your way. All right, so this blower motor, I'm gonna have to actually cut it out of here. Uh, literally, I have to cut the plastic out and drop it down. Before I do any of that, I will disconnect the electrical connector right here. Uh, press the tab, pull this out, set this to the side, make sure you're not damaging the uh, electrical connector or the wire. I'm gonna take a utility knife pocket knife, whatever, whatever you have, whatever works, but you want to cut a slice right in between these two holes where the, uh, where this groove is. Oops. Just like that. That will allow me to get in with my little hacksaw. And if you don't have one of these, that's okay. You can just use the, uh, utility knife, but now you want to follow this around and cut uh, cut the whole bottom of this blower motor out. as I can get with that on this side. Let's go back the other way. I'm gonna grab my utility knife again and just follow along. Obviously this is gonna be a little slower. Oh, something better is happening here. There it is. There's the blower motor with the fan cage. It's completely cut out of there. At this point, what we have to do is take off these two bolts or nuts and remove this motor itself with the cage from this housing. You want to save this housing and we'll drop the new one in. With this on my workbench, I'm going to take a 7 millimeter socket, remove both of these little nuts here. Flip it over, set those aside. Now you want to pull the motor out of this housing, just like this. There you go. Save this. This is where the new one's going to go. But here's your old blower motor. Here's your new blower motor. Take this housing, line the connection up with the hole for the connector, slide this down, one of these studs isn't quite lined up so I'm just going to use a pick, there we go, one. press this down all the way and let's reattach these two nuts here. These are eight millimeter now. Okay, there's one. That's snug. That's snug, perfect. At this point, let's get this lock ring on here. There we go, that lines up. And once this is lined up, you can take your uh, provided screws, start them on. Make sure they're nice and snug. Okay, let's get this in the car. All right, make sure there's no debris here from 
cutting or anything like that. Now you take the new blower motor, slide it up and in, and line up the, uh, the three mounting holes with where they're supposed to go. Then you take your provided screws. At this point, you're gonna have to hold the uh, blower motor and then start in at least one screw at the same time. Okay. <sighs> Once one's in, you can let go and it becomes a little bit easier. Second one is back here. That's tight. And the third one is all the way in the back right here. At this point, we can plug in the uh, lower motor connector, press it on, make sure it's locked, which it is, and now you can test it out before you put anything else back together. Let's get this carpet back. Again, don't worry about the glove box. I took that off just for video purposes so you can see. There we go. That's one push clip. Put the second one through. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and put on the glove box, but at this point, you're done.